Greetings, comic book fans. I'm Mike Fitzgerald with First Issue Review. In this episode of First Issue Review, we review The Tick, new series, number one. All right, well, if you're not already familiar with The Tick, in 1986, an 18-year-old cartoonist, Ben Edlund, created The Tick as a mascot for a newsletter for the Broxton, Massachusetts store, New, Con New England Comics, where he was a customer. Um, later it became a cult comic book series, and it ran for 12 issues, um, all completed by Ben Unlin. Um, unfortunately, after 12 issues, he left. Um, I, everybody I know has, has always enjoyed the tick. Um, unfortunately, it was its own success that the um, comic book ended. Um, because Ben Unglund ended up taking the uh, comic book and it got an offer to make it into a cartoon. And it was a very popular cartoon. Um, and it didn't vary greatly from the original material, but it played up on more of the, the superhero themes than the original. The original series, um, why it was an, an absurdist version of a superhero comic, also played in other genres, such as horror and action. Um, action uh, coming from nin comical ninjas, or horror coming from the character of Red Eye, if you're familiar. Um, but the uh, cartoon mostly focused on the superhero aspects. So Ben Olin focused on the cartoon series. Um, for a short run of, I believe, eight episodes, the, uh, the tick was made into a live action television show starring Patrick Warburton as the tick. And that was also very entertaining, and it has its own cult following. And Ben Olin was involved in that too. Unfortunately, um, over the years, uh, New England Comics has decided to continue the tick in various incarnations and in various miniseries without Ben Anglin. Um I've never been in, been in the opinion that any of, the, any of these were as entertaining as Ben Anglin's work. Um, so for a long time, they re New England Comics released these miniseries. Well, apparently, they were always waiting for Ben Unglin to return, bring back the series to take, start off with issue 13, and continue his, you know, amazing work. Very funny work. I've always enjoyed it. I've always enjoyed his humor. And I've enjoyed his humor as he's gone on in other things, which we'll discuss later. Um, but he's not coming back. Um, right now, he is one of the executive producers on the... WB or whatever, the CW TV show, Supernatural. Um, he also has done, he also did work on the cult series Firefly. And he's also made guest appearances on, <coughs> on the Venture Brothers. So he's busy, he's in Hollywood, he's not doing comics. Which is unfortunate. Um, because the tick isn't the tick without Ben Unwin. Um, there are a lot of people who love the tick, and a lot of people who will be happy to see this new ongoing series, starting with issue one. And for them, um, well, let's talk about issue one. Issue one starts, it's a Christmas story, or a Christmas issue. I don't know how much of an actual Christmas story I would describe it as. And it's, you know, it's very nostalgic. I mean, they bring back all the regulars. I mean, obviously you see Arthur, but um, a lot of the same villains, Barry, and the, and the other tick, uh, Chairface Chippendale, Professor Chrome Dome, and Tick also is in the companionship of the man-eating cow. Um, a lot of the action takes place at the 
superhero nightclub, which they all hang out in. And down in some back room, author is with the sidekicks enjoying their Christmas. Um, but that's but the problem is there are so many characters in it that you don't spend very you seem to spend very much time with the tick. Um, the tick from the old original twelve issue series. Yes, I'm glad author was introduced. He's a great counterpoint to the tick. But the tick doesn't need all these other characters to play off. He is absurd and entertaining enough on his own. It's the comic book is just way too crowded. Um, I don't need it. I didn't need to see all these people. I just want a return to the tip. And I'm willing to give a series a chance because of my love for the tick. And even if it's not going to be Ben Unglin, that's fine. But I'm not watching. I'm not reading <laughs> just to see these reoccurring characters. Bring it in a different direction. That was one of the things that made the tick interesting for me. I mean, the humor came from a variety of situations. There was no, nothing to lock the tick down. Um, and one of the things that happened in the earlier series, in the original series, they even got away from, you know, humor at some point. There, there was even hints of seriousness. At one point in the original series, Tick, who is obviously insane, as we know, because he, in the, his origin, escaped from a sane asylum, actually has a moment where he deals with that. Um, there's also, during the ninja story, um, his friend gets hurt. Not out there, a, a girl named Ophelius. I think, I'm horrible with names. She gets hurt, and we see a different side of the tip. Um, I enjoy that. I need. I also enjoy from the original series, and I don't see, I haven't, didn't see it in this episode. There are just there are quiet spaces in the original tick series, and that's going to be necessary to recapture that tone. Every panel seems so just full that like trying to get in another another joke but you know you they didn't have those they needed those pauses that weren't that were in there and another thing i mean there was often like smaller things in the background of the original series that would your eye would catch on a second reading it was a little more layered um so i need i i hope to see from this series and i will check out future issues this was a Christmas story. Um, you know, most Christmas stories are lame if you ask me anyways. So seeing what they do with a non-Christmas story with new writer. Um, his name I don't even have in front of me. Um, you know, I give him a chance. Will it be better than the tech? No. But just, which is fine. But just don't be that pale shadow of Ben Unglin series. Don't be just a copy of the animated series. Be something new with the tick. Um, otherwise, it's just simply won't be worth reading, and it would definitely be nothing I would qualify as a new series. And uh, that's my review of The Tick, my first issue review of The Tick, the new series. And thank you for watching this episode of First Issue Review. See all you comic book fans next time.